In this video, I'm going to show you how to automate your cold email strategy forever with just one click. What? Yeah, yeah, you heard it right, with only one click and forever. And for this, we are going to be using Apollo.io and Axiom. First, we need to define who we are going to be sending emails to, and for that, we need to create an Apollo search that we are going to convert later into a list. This is the most important part because it's actually going to define who we are going to be sending emails to or not. Then we're going to use Axiom to create a list of people automatically every day that we are going to be sending emails to. And lastly, we're going to use Apollo to create the email sequences and include new persons on the people automatically every day. And I'm going to give all the email sequences. Before starting, I want to show a quick overview about the whole process because this is going to help us to understand further steps, okay? So everything starts with, that, with a safe search and this is important because the safe search is going to give us two elements, okay? The first of all is the list of people that may be potentially interested in our services, okay? It means real estate agents, um, restaurants, whatever, okay? This is going to be able to filter the persons that may be potentially interested in our services. And the second important thing is that when we have this safe search, we are also going to have a URL with that safe search. And that URL is going to be the first step for action.ai, okay? And action.ai is basically an automation software that emulates the behavior of a person when clicking, when writing, and when clicking on different elements across the website, okay? So with action.ai, we're going to be sending the safe search to a list, okay? And we're going to be doing it in a daily basis. We send the different elements to a list, and then with this list, we are going to set up an automation in Apollo that is basically called a play. Um, in Apollo, the automations are called play which we are going to be sending to email sequences that are for emails, okay? And if they are finally interested, we are going to close up a meeting and we are going to close a deal, most likely, okay? So this is the quick overview about the whole process and this is going to help understand the, the further steps. So the first thing that we need to do here is go to Apollo, create an account and select one of the plans. They have a 14 day trial for the pro plans, plus they also have a free plan, which is the one that I'm actually using, okay? Then we need to go to search. And this is actually the most important part of the video because with the search, we are going to filter the persons that we are going to be sending messages later on in the video, okay? So uh, very important at the beginning, manager, director, and owners okay and this is very important because with these filters we are making sure that the email reaches to the relevant person and a person that can actually make decisions okay because if we send the email to an intern the email probably is going to be wasted okay so we want relevant persons that actually can make decisions in the business to receive the emails okay then number of employees I recommend 1 to 10 or 11 to 20 because if we go above this probably they are going to have like some filters and the email is going to pass is going to pass through a couple of persons before it reaches the relevant person that can actually have um, that can actually make a decision okay so 1 to 10 or 11 to 20 both are fine then industry this is super important as well because basically this is the way that we're going to be targeting our list okay so for example real state okay and this is basically it. then we can also include like another filters like email status so it is verified and technologies job postings and whatever okay but those are the most important ones so now we are going to save the list okay and it's going to be named to be contacted a real estate okay so we save it so after the list is created, we need to go to the upper menu, go to engage and then click on new sequence. OK, then we cl click on create from scratch and uh, test sequence. OK, here you can obviously add the name that you actually want. Add the step, automatic email, continue. And here we're going to be writing the emails. As I said to you previously in the video, I have created like the email sequence that you are going to be using or that you could potentially use in case you want. Uh, I have tested it and this has been working for me. So I recommend you to use this email sequence. Okay, so we are just going to copy paste. And just one clarification here, like the things that are between gaps, 
these variables so they are going to be automatically filled with information of the lead and this that is in capital letters you need to fill with your own details okay and with the benefits and with the solutions that you actually provide okay uh, you just have to fill this information and you just have to do the same with the email two email three and email four and this is basically it you are going to have the four email sequence ready to be infinity looped as we're going to see now so we're going to click on save and this is it okay now that we created the search what we are going to do is create the list okay so we go here list new list and this is going to be called real estate okay real estate save and this is it and now we're going to be ready to start using the action sequence okay so now that this is here what we need to do is go to action to the url and then i'm going to we are going to click in Instagram extension. In this case, I have it installed it already, and I'm going to leave in the I'm going to leave the link in the description so you can easily access to it. But we have the URL inst installed, and what we are going to do is open it by clicking here, okay, in Action Browser extension, and then this is going to show up here. So we are going to click in New Automation, create new and start from blank, okay? Interact with pages interface. And then here we need to select the current URL, okay? And this is very important that the current URL matches with the search that we are doing, because as this matches with the search that we are doing, this is going to, defer, this is going to be the first step that is going to initiate the action sequence every time, okay? So get current URL, and then let's add a sub step, okay? That is going to go click element, okay? So select element, and we are going to select this set and this is complete confirm then add another sub step this is going to be select and this is going to be this element don't worry if it is not safe or, or if it disappears the element because action actually records it okay so complete add another sub step click element select and we are going to click now in list Okay, over there, complete. Add another sub step, click element, select, and now we are going to click on add to list. Okay, complete. And now we are going to include another sub step that is going to be enter text. Okay, and the text that we are going to include is going to be the, the name of the list that we created, and in this case, it's real estate. Okay. So this is the text we write here. No, we select the text field that is selected. And then we click on another element that we're going to select now. This is going to be real estate. And this is going to be here. There is, it's very important that there is only one element to click, okay? So just write in the previous step a name that actually matches exactly like this one, okay? So real estate, complete. Add another sub step, click element, select, and we're going to click on save, okay? Loading complete and now theoretically oh what is happening here theoretically the axiom is working okay so let's go into axiom already again sorry so let's go here mm. invalid field select okay what happened here Okay, so let's take a look to it again. And remember, we need to do the same steps. Add to list, add to list, real estate. And then here we need to select again the element, okay? That is going to be safe. Okay, let's click instead of this, that is what we clicked before, let's click this time here. And let's click on complete. Okay, so it's selected. Now, theoretically, it should be done. Let me let me select another one because I think that is not going to work. 
So save, complete. Okay, now theoretically it's going to work. We're going to click here on run and run in cloud and let's see if this works, okay? Now it's going to the page, to the saved search that we did at the beginning. Now it's going to click on the elements, select all the elements in this page. There you go. Then we're going to click on list, add to list. Enter real estate click on it and then click on save okay so now this is working perfectly and we know that every day we are going to be having new leads going into that list okay and what we are going to do in the next step is that every time that we have a new lead going into that list we are going to send an automated sequence okay and we are going to be seeing this in the next step one thing that is important to mention is that the functionality of creating a scheduled bots is only available in the pro version. But actually the one that I'm using is the starter version and once you click it like once a day, it's valid enough and it works perfectly as well. Now we have to create the automation in Apollo and for that we're going to go to the play section, okay? We click on play and then we click on new play, okay? So we can create one from scratch. Let me see, create from scratch, it's over here. And it's going to be called, for example, real state. Okay. Then configuration. When should this run? We should run it every day at the same time. For example, every day at 8:30 in the morning during the weekdays. So Monday, 8:30 in the morning. Run every day. Okay, and it never ends. Filters, this is very important because this is the way of us filtering the persons that we are going to send into this sequence, okay? So for this, as you know, before we created a list and the people that is going to be sent to this sequence is the people that is on the list, list real estate, that as you see is here. So we click on save filters and this is ready to go we remove this and then we include this mm -mm -mm, automate these actions include to add contacts to sequence and then we select the sequence real estate sequence for mails and send email from a specific user that in this case is me okay so we just have to click on save changes and the play, the, the Apollo play that is basically automation is going to be here. You just need to activate it and it's going to start running since the moment that you actually start it, okay? And that's all guys. If you like the video, please like and subscribe and see you in the next one.